What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we have made it to the college football playoff of our 2022 college football season simulation. I was hoping to get all this in before week zero, but at least we're going to get it in before week one. We're going to have the two semifinal games on Sunday, the championship game Monday night, and I will show you the schedule, but let's just get to the bracket. I will show you who is in the college football playoff based off of our preseason or our full season simulation we simulated all the games for the power five teams and this is how it came out uh i just kind of remind you if you missed it in the conference championship games ohio state beat nebraska alabama beat florida oklahoma beat texas utah beat usc and then miami beat clemson in the acc championship so the only undefeated team after all of this was ohio state so they're going to be the one seed they will be the one seed here. The Again, the only team that went 13-0, and so no debate there. And I think number two is pretty clear as well. Alabama, they only lose one game. They lost on the road to LSU in a really close game. They were able to win the SEC with one loss. They will be going to the Peach Bowl. I realize that Atlanta is closer for Ohio State, but the reason why I think the committee would put the teams here is because of our number three team, and that is Utah. So I don't think Al they're going to put Alabama basically in a road game against Utah. Um, and the team that's at number four is, is pretty close to Atlanta as well, uh, or at least they're on that side of, of the country. So I think they would probably put the games like this. I don't see them putting the number two team in basically a road game against the number three team. I don't know for sure how they would do it. This is just my guess. Um, and again, Ohio State's going to have to travel pretty far regardless. So Alabama versus Utah. Utah losing only to Florida in the opener. They win the rest of their games. They beat USC twice, had a great season, and they made it into the playoffs. So how about the number four team? Well, it came down to these three teams, Miami, Oklahoma, and USC. Miami 11-2, they won the ACC championship. Oklahoma 11-2, they won the Big 12 championship. USC 11-2, and, and the reason why they're included is because that's second loss was in the Pac-12 championship to a playoff team I think they would at least be considered it's not like they lost two regular season games like Miami and Oklahoma but at the end of the day I think the conference championship would be enough to put Miami and Oklahoma ahead of USC and it would come down to those two teams resumes are very similar based off of the simulations Miami lost to you know a, a good Florida State team I believe they were nine and three and then they lost to Texas A&M, who was 9-3 or 10-2, I think. So two good losses there. Oklahoma, they lost to Nebraska, who was 9-3. But what I, I think is going to make the difference here is Oklahoma lost their last regular season game, and it was to Texas Tech. So not exactly a great loss. The wins on their resumes is very similar. That loss is going to be the difference, I think, with the playoff committee. And Miami will go to the playoff as the number four team. This is what I think the committee would do, again, based off of these simulations. Definitely an argument for Oklahoma, even an argument for USC, because, again, that second loss was not in the regular season. But I think the committee would put Miami in here, which is interesting because, remember, I had, if you follow the college football channel, I actually picked Miami to go to the playoff this year as the number four team, and I did my predictions before all these simulations. Uh, so that that's pretty crazy that they went in these simulations. A very, I think... Uh, a playoff that could happen again i've got miami in there utah absolutely could get in there if georgia does not get in uh, I, I think this is a very interesting setup here and again something that i think could possibly happen in real life so those are the games let's show you the schedule on sunday we'll have alabama versus utah at three o'clock eastern time ohio state versus miami at seven o'clock eastern time a little bit of an earlier start since it's a sunday and I didn't want to do any games on Saturday since college football is starting with week zero. And then the championship game will be on Monday night, 9 o'clock Eastern time. We'll see who gets in there. Of course, everyone's going to assume it'll be Alabama and Ohio State, but you never know. It's a video game. Crazy things happen in these simulations. We could even have Miami and Utah in the national championship or maybe Alabama and Miami or Ohio State and Utah. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how it plays out and who wins it all in our preseason simulation, which in the past has been really accurate at times and other times not really accurate at all. We'll have to look back at the end of the season and see just how accurate it was this year. But hopefully you guys are ready for these games. Again, join us live here on the channel tomorrow or Sunday, 3 o'clock Eastern time at 7 o'clock Eastern time, and then again on Monday night at 9 o'clock Eastern time for the championship. Thanks for watching all the simulations, following along all off season long. 
It's time for some real football, though, tomorrow. And then, of course, week one will kick off next Thursday. Cannot wait for that. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more right here on the SG1 Sports Gaming Channel.